Hey everyone, good afternoon. Wishing everyone a very happy new year. My name is Viraj Namaskara and uh, I don't know why I'm doing this. I have never done this. I never felt I would do this, but I am doing it because enough is enough. Let me tell you what is happening in Bangalore city. We all are basically living in a hell hole. You call it whatever you want, a hell hole, a shit hole, a collection of mismanaged projects, badly elected representatives, pathetic governance, absolute waste of taxpayer money, whatever you want. It's probably the worst city to live in, in Bangalore, period. There is absolutely nothing easy and good about living in the city. And mind you, I'm a Kannadiga. I have been living and working here for the last 10 years. And for all the people telling, why are you talking in English? I want to reach out to the masses in this video, not just the local people of Canada. What is happening? Like, what is seriously happening in the city? Nada Prabhu Kempe Gowda would be rolling in his grave right now if he would see the situation of Bangalore today. He would not be resting in peace. Not even a little. Everywhere you go, there is bad infrastructure, bad governance, pathetic level of, I don't know, what are you saying? Ease of living in a city. You go outside on the roads, there's potholes everywhere. You go out on the outer ring roads, there is traffic congestion everywhere. There is price increase like rampant. Karnataka is probably the most expensive state right now in the country. I mean, especially with all the price hikes that have been done over the last one year. I mean, they had to do it. The government has no clue of how to run the state machinery. They gave out free electricity, 12, 15 crores worth of exchequer every day in free transportation. I mean, it was not necessary, but they had to win the elections. That is the only way. I am not trying to blame one single party or government, but this is the state of Karnataka for the last 15, 20 years. The entire government machinery is at a immense sort of a failure. You cannot live in the city and save any money unless and until you are earning maybe uh, three, four lakhs a month. You go outside, there's, it's just full of problems, right? If you are a citizen of Bangalore and you build a house, if you want to get permissions to get electricity and water, you will have to spill out lacks in terms of giving bribes right from BBMP to BESCOM to BWSSB. You will not have an easy life living here. But how long are you going to tolerate this? How long do you expect to live in a city like this while you pay crores in taxes? The BBMP, which is probably one of the largest civic bodies in the country, like right after uh, BMC in Mumbai or maybe Delhi Municipal Corporation. It's one of the largest municipal corporations. And mind you, there have been no elections conducted for the last three years for BBMP. Why? Do you want to keep all the power to yourself? Do you want to spend the 10,000 crore budget by yourself? 
Do you think people's money is a joke? Do you think not having representatives on a grassroots level is not important? What is the Karnataka government doing? Why is this not a priority for you rather than solving for everything else in the world? Why can't you just get your work done and get the election sorted and have people representatives to solve local problems? What do you think? Do you own this state? Is this state something that was given to you by your grandfathers? No, this state was built on the foundation of a very large historic kingdom, which is the Vadiya family. What is happening? I cannot travel from my house to the center of HSR layout without going through hundreds of potholes. What do I do about it? Do I talk to my local MLA? He is nowhere to be seen after the elections. Do I talk to my local BBMP elected representatives? Oh, he's not even there. Or do I reach out to the people, go to uh, maybe Vidar Soda and stand in a line and waste eight hours of my day trying to know whom to talk to? Okay, maybe the easiest way is to send an email and reach out through digital media. Let me show you what happens when I do that. I sent an email on 9th of September saying, Request to rectify bad roads in HSR layout. Look, I marked everyone right from the MLA to the BBM ID. You know what happens? The mail gets bounced back because the email ID of uh, the MLA is full. And then I get a reply from the BBM handle on 11th of September, marking it to Another company called the CEO infrastructure, infrastructure, I don't know what company is, they are marking them saying, please take immediate action. And this mail chain keeps on going for about three months till the time I even loop in the CM, the deputy CM, the PWD minister, the CEO, the BBMP CEO and the BBMP tech. And nothing happens. The road is still the way it is. Are we electing representatives who don't even have an email ID which they open or even check? Are we people of Karnataka and Bangalore living in Stone Age even today? Are all the bureaucrats in Karnataka state government absolutely worthless and useless? Are they not able to teach the illiterate politicians that we have elected how to use an email ID or an inbox or technology? Or is the state government not capable enough to get work done out of such brilliant IAS and IPS officers which are there who get paid lakhs of lakhs in terms of their salaries? Are you incapable enough? Then I think you should not be at that position and that chair. I think people like us, normal citizens of Bangalore, the young people should be representative of the people in the state governments. I think we will be able to do a much better job if we are elected there. But we can't play politics. That's the only difference. We don't have money. We don't have politics. We don't have influence. That's why we live like normal middle class people. Um, maybe a lakh, give 40,000 rupees in taxes to live in a hellhole, which is Bangalore city. I really want all of you to become a voice, to become one and just get out of the shackles of a badly managed state and a city. If my voice is not being heard to rectify one single road, imagine the state of the entire state of Karnataka and what sort of a pathetic governance system we are under. And mind you, all these secretaries, principal secretaries, I hope you guys see this video and understand that you guys are not able to do a good job. Maybe I blame the politicians or the ministers, but you guys are smart enough to take some action and 
rectify all the thousands of problems that people are facing right now. I want to reach out to the people from across the country who are living in Bangalore, not Kannadigas. If all the people from Delhi, from Kolkata, from Mumbai, from UP, Bihar, Punjab, Lucknow, Haryana, Madhya Pradesh, Kerala, Tamil Nadu. What are you guys doing? Why are you guys here? Do you always want to be a migrant here? Do you not want to be a part of the city and change it? Become a voice, raise out your voice, take to social media and talk to everyone and tell them what is happening. Why are you paying lakhs in taxes? I am sure your voter IDs are back in your home state. Why don't you get them changed to the Bangalore city and vote for the right government? Or maybe we all can form a coalition party right now. I don't know. Maybe name it, name it the Karnataka Youth Brigade or the Karnataka Youth Party. Let's 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 do it and let's just stand and represent our voices and let's solve real problems rather than working in a corporate at a senior manager or a director level position. I'm sure you guys are working there. Even I am working. Uh, in, a, in a senior level position, but I don't want to get into politics. But if this is the state of the state and the state where I was born, and if it's going to become a cash cow or a money making machine for all the politicians here, with a rampant corruption right from your BBMP Chaparasi to right to your top level minister, I think it's time we do something. I think it's time we wake up and the Take a stand against bad governance, corruption, non ease of living as a normal citizen here, and the way our money is being wasted in giving out all the freebies, in giving out all the things to people who don't deserve them, and not actually investing in the infrastructure and the city itself. You guys spend thousands, maybe lacks imparting every single month. But just take a little bit of ownership. I'm not asking you to learn to speak Canada. Nobody, nobody can force you to do that. Okay? I myself can speak five languages. My mother tongue is Marathi. I speak Canada. I speak Hindi. But I don't force people to speak Canada. It's not necessary. You, you do what is necessary to live a prosperous life here. Be a part of the change. Help spread the word ki what is happening in Bangalore city is not the right thing. Why are we being okay with it? Why are you being okay traveling two kilometers for 45 minutes every day? It's not normal. You are living in an extraterrestrial world. It's, it's, it's stupid. If you're okay traveling two hours every day of your life, you are wasting your life, my friend you are absolutely going to regret not having two hours of your day to do something even more productive. Think about it. I really hope this video goes out in the CM and the deputy CM and all the ministers and the secretaries in the government of Karnataka. We are not going to be tolerant enough any longer. Learn something from the central government. Learn something from the other state governments. Look at Uttar Pradesh. A war torn, a dacoit inflated, a Gunda Raj state is going to become the largest economy in the country. And Karnataka, which was the largest economy, is going to get into the drains very soon if this continues. I mean, why have we elected these people even? Like seriously, why have you voted for these people? I mean, I understand even the BJP leadership in Karnataka has failed. That is why Congress won. It's simple as that. Can the BJP party look at having young dynamic people representing in the state or just have a group of very young people join the party and then build that sort of a leadership? Or I think the last option left for me and all the people of my age from all over the country to form a new party and just build a new government. I think that's the easiest way to solve this problem. I don't want to see the state dying and the city dying. But people of the state government are ruining it 
they are killing it. They have failed in terms of governance. Everyone has crores worth of assets. They don't care about Bangalore. They don't care about Karnataka. All they care about is getting more power, about getting more and more responsibilities without any sort of... I am at loss of words right now. I am seriously at loss of and I am frustrated as a Bangalorean. I have nowhere to go, no one to hear my voices. Everybody has failed here, especially the migrant people who come, work, live, party, enjoy, but do nothing to change the society or the government. I really hope this video goes up to the CM and the Deputy CM and the BBMP staff and all the ministers that are working here and also to all the other parties because of whom we had to choose Congress government in the state and which has failed drastically. And I hope this also goes out to all the MNC CEOs, the IT firm CEOs and the startup CEOs which stay right here near my house in HSR here. And I hope we can make a change by being united and spreading the word about how important change is right now for us to solve all these problems. I think if these incapable people cannot solve them, let's take up the responsibility of solving them ourselves. Right? Just start by having the BBMP elections done, having local representatives electives elected, and having review meetings every week on local problems. Just simple local problems, which can make life so much different for everyone living here. Forget about changing the state of Karnataka and making it number one. That will take years together. But as a local light, as a Kannadiga, I pray and I request everyone to just raise your voice in open forums and show how miserable our life is living here. And don't talk about the Bangalore weather. Bangalore weather was way, way better than 20 years back. It was way better than Masuri or Dehradun or Himachal Pradesh. So don't just say Bangalore weather is good. No. Say Bangalore has to be the best and the most livable city in the country. I'm never going to leave Bangalore, but I want to solve a lot of the problems. And that can be solved only by bringing in a change. And nothing else. I don't know if this video will make any difference to anybody's lives, especially the ones who are working in Bangalore and have nothing to do here. But I really hope this video goes to the every single last person living in the city and knowing about the life and the hellhole that we are living in and that we, we have to change something if not today, but tomorrow. Share this video with every single person you know who lives in Bangalore and who is living through this hellhole. And let's get together to make a change. To change the city of Bangalore and Karnataka state. And get rid of these horrible people who are sitting in the middle and governing such a large economy of Karnataka with 1.3 crores of people inhabitants in Bangalore city. Kannada Urige Daivit to request Martha Idini. He video Noda Takshana. Sumne ignore Mada Kogbadi. Noda bit to Daivit to Enaro Action Tawari. Ilanga Nam Juna Hara Bitida. Nimbu Juna Hara Gun. Bada the time Beka Villa. Please request Martha Idini. Let us take some action on some parameters on what is happening and let's get united to speak for a change because we are not stupid, illiterate, dumb people. We are the young, educated youth of Bangalore city and if we get up, if we wake up, 
Trust me, there's going to be a storm. There's going to be a fire storm that's going to brew. And you guys will have nowhere to run or hide. You guys will be answerable for all the things that you have been doing and that you will be doing over the next few years. If things don't change and if your emails keep bouncing like this, trust me, you are going to become history very soon. You are not going to be surviving long enough to rule a state like this and think you can just loot people's money in billions and billions of dollars. So I really hope that this video makes an impact. People wake up and start understanding your civic responsibilities and hold the people responsible whose jobs are to make sure that our lives are making, that our lives are becoming a little better every single day. And every penny of our taxpayers' money is being accounted for and exactly why we pay taxes. The simplest thing you can do is just learn, learn from other states on how good governance happens. How do you delegate jobs? How do you delegate works to all the IS, IPS officers that are there? Right from your ground level BBMP, ground keeping staff to your sweeper, to your gutter cleaner. Learn how management happens. You are not there to take big posts and delegations and eat up crores worth of money. You are here to solve our problems. Understand that. And I hope something happens very soon. And all the chaos and all the mismanagement that is happening in Bangalore is rectified. <clears throat> or we are going to wake up real soon. Yeah. That's all I wanted to say. It was just a lot of frustration and just a bad, pathetic life that we all live here. Apart from the good weather, the great beer, the parties. There's a lot, there's a lot for Bangalore to do and get to. And I hope all of you will become one and support in getting this voice heard. And I would really want to hear from you in the comment section below on what do you think is needed to be done to change the system of governance in Karnataka and in Bangalore. Thank you so much.